Okay, this is Greg, and uh, this is the ABS orientation webinar. Uh, the first one, we'll be doing a couple more, but I'm not, I'm not bringing on the whole, I mean, like a whole football team worth of people because this is the kind of business where it doesn't take a lot of people to affect the entire world. And, and that's easily explained when you guys have seen my videos on YouTube and things of that nature. So um, today we're gonna do some, some homework, a little bit of homework. If you guys got a pen and paper or a pad or you know whatever you type on or write on, whatever, get, get that or, or in front of you so we can take some notes because so, I, don't, I don't like repeating myself too often. I love to talk, but I don't like repeating myself. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a lot of stuff on the table tonight for everybody to, you know, kind of wrap your head around. And uh, we're gonna talk about the past, we're gonna talk about the present, and we're definitely gonna talk about the future. So um, right now, um, I, wanna get I wanna get everybody I can. Um, Nick, since you just made some noise, um, give your name, um, where you're from, and what you do, and what brought you to this program. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Nick. Nick Falcon. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, you can hear me. Yes, I can. Okay, I wasn't sure. I have to use. Uh, I'm using a friend's. I'm using somebody else's laptop right now, so I apologize, man. No worries, bro. No worries. All right. So yeah, basically, I'm a door to door guy. Door to door sales. Been been sales for woo, 15 years now. Uh, direct sales. Okay. And how did you, what brought you to this? How did you find out about this? I found this through JT Hustles and then looking it up and finding you on YouTube and contacting you in person. Well, over the phone. Right. Awesome. JT Hustles is how I found out about it too. So I should have him on here. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks, Nick. I appreciate it, man. You're door welcome. to door. If anybody who's watching this has ever worked door to door, and I have, that's a hard gig, man. That's a hard gig. It takes a personality to walk and knock on somebody's door. That's that. That's a serious, uh, no fear kind of vibe, right? To to knock on somebody's door and pitch them in in basically three to four seconds. So I I commit, I commend you for that, bro. Uh, Appreciate that, man. Next, I want um, Quentin. Hey, what's going on? Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead, brother. All right, I'm Quinn um, from Chicago. Um, right now, I'm currently um, in real estate, and I found this out through JT Hustles as well. Great, great, great. Thanks, Quentin. Thanks for coming on, Q. Uh, Most and, definitely. Uh, your boy, Blue. Come on, Blue. What you got? Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> My name Blue. I'm from Chicago as well. And um, me and Quentin, we work together doing the wholesaling thing. Uh, also real estate as well. And uh, we came across your page through uh, JT Hustles. Absolutely. Cool, cool. Michael Eisbrenner. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Looks like it. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm from Minnesota, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I, I live in South America. And um, what I do is sell stuff, whatever I can, remotely, re virtually, whether it's insurance or software. I did start out selling magazines door to door a long time ago in, in St. Paul neighborhoods. Ooh, they dr they oh. drop you off. They drop you off and pick you up uh, 10 blocks further down <laughs> and you better have picked up at least seven or eight registrations. Or they take off and leave you standing in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. See guys, I'm telling you, look, I don't, I've, like I said, I told Michael this today. When we we've known each other for a long time, and I wouldn't know Michael from a can of paint if I ran into him on the street. But that's what the network marketing, that's what um, the online social media game can do. There's a lot of stupidity about social media, but one of the two things social media has done for my life is brought people into my life I never would have met never would have gotten to know and become my friends and brothers and sisters just online, right? 
And also yeah. it brought family members and friends from high school, college that I hadn't seen in 20, 30 years. So that's that's a beautiful thing. You can you can turn anything into a positive. So so that's going to be part of what we're talking about today, too. Um, and last but not least, my buddy, my dog, somebody else I've never physically met, but he is my dude. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for E.J. Coleman. Can you hear me? What yes, do I need sir. to do here to look at this? <laughs> you turn a video on. <laughs> wow. Where, where are we at? Can y'all see me? No, we hear you. We hear no, you. We, we hear you, though. Okay. Start video. There, there you go. go. There he is. Hey. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Hey, we're going to rock and roll this thing, dude. Listen, I've known Greg for probably, golly, probably about two years. Yep. We come together for uh, – um, the Lord had uh, us to come together for uh, a certain reason. Now, why we didn't we didn't know, but uh, we've uh, piddled around with a couple of different ideas. And when he approached me the other day, I was like, "Oh yeah, this is this is it." As y'all can see, I'm driving a truck. See, I'm driving a truck. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been driving a truck for 22 years. I've drove for pneumatic tanking. I've drove NASCAR for nine and a half years. And now I'm driving another um, box truck from North Carolina to Texas to Ohio, back down to North Carolina, about 3,100 miles a week. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of driving. I mean, I've done it for 22 years. This is game changer. I'm telling y'all, if y'all listen to Greg, we're going to go somewhere with this thing. I promise you that. I promise you. And this is EJ Coleman from North Carolina. And just God bless us, man, because this is the this is the next thing. This is this is gonna be awesome. Greg, I appreciate you, brother. Love you, man. Love you appreciate too, man. You. I told y'all last but not least. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> and I and guys, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. So I love anybody with a southern accent. I love anybody with a southern accent. For real. All right. Now, um, let me break this down. Because just like EJ said, everybody on here, except for maybe Michael, because I, Mike and I just talked about this yesterday. But everybody on here has seen at least one of my YouTube videos. Everybody on here has, has heard me speak about this business. Again, JT Hustles who is a entrepreneur online. He's a hustler. He's got hustle in his name. JT Hustles made a video about how you can make 2000 bucks a week. And every time I see that, I always say, well, eh, whatever. And, and then I, you know, I give it a look, see what happens. Right. However, when I watched the first video by John Wilker, I knew then it, this guy was on to something. I always say I'm either on something or I'm on to something. And, and John Wilker is on to something. Funny part about it, he's been doing this for two, 22 years. He's been selling pallets for 22 years. So the, the beauty of all of it is it's so simple. That's why they call it the simplest biz. It's the simplest biz ever, right? Wood and nails, wood and nails. That's it. But everything, as you guys heard, Michael Eisbrenner is in Columbia. He lives in Columbia. He's from Minnesota and he lives in Columbia. Guess what? There's companies in Columbia in his city that need pallets every single day. Now, Michael could work in his city in Columbia and make a million bucks a month. However, he doesn't speak Spanish, <laughs> okay? So that's gonna be a little, you know, that's gonna be a slight hindrance. However, from Columbia, where he's sitting right now, I'm gonna put him whatever city he wants to work through. He can work out of Minneapolis. He can work out of anywhere, anywhere in the world. All he has to do is decide. Now, Mike might say, um, I, I like Miami a lot. 
I'd like to go there and I would like to be able to go to Miami and write off the whole trip. Okay, well then we'll book your business in Miami. And every now and then you just fly to Miami and check on your, your businesses and write off the whole trip. That's how you do business. Everything else is just, you just, you know, you're working for somebody. And you guys will not be my employees under no circumstances and I will not treat you as such. This whole thing is about locking arms with people who understand that trading time for dollars is always the bad idea. Trading people for dollars is called MLM. But when you're trading units for dollars, let me give you an example. Everybody on here has heard this example. I have a client, I just secured the client. I talked about it in my videos when I was first getting started. I just secured this client. They do 2000 pallets a week. They only gave me half of their business just to test me out, right? So I'm selling them 1000 pallets a week. I'm making $4 per pallet. That's $4,000 a week, folks. $4,000 a week, every single week for as long as that company has a company. Because if they ever come to me, because contractually they have to, if they ever come to me and say, we found another company that said they can sell pallets for cheaper. I said, well, give me first right of refusal. Give me a chance to meet or beat. I'm going to. I'm going to if I have to cut down the tree and make the pallets myself. All right, because I'm not throwing away that four G's. And if you think about it, $4,000 a week, that's $96,000 a year. No, actually it's more than that, 44, 16, 16,000. No, that's, that's almost $200,000 a year on one client. So I technically could just do that and you guys wouldn't even know me. <laughs> Michael would, EJ would, but you wouldn't know my business, you wouldn't be in my business. You wouldn't be working with me. But we're gonna have some fun guys because this is easy. This is the easiest work you would have ever done. If you do this, this is the easiest work you will ever, ever do. Trust me when I tell you this. So again, what we're looking at here, you know what we do, we sell pallets. I have suppliers here in the Twin Cities. I'll give you an example. I'm gonna share my screen. Share my screen. What you see there is Twin Cities. Michael knows this area. It's the Twin Cities, right? Every one of these dots is a pallet company. However, some of these, these yellow dots, these are people I'm going to be selling to. Yellow dots, buyers. Blue, red dots, suppliers. Buyers, suppliers. And all that just in the Twin Cities. So let's just take, let's say, let's say one of you guys lives in the Twin Cities and you're going to work just, um, St. Paul, when I close in on St. Paul, and let's say you live in this area, say you live in Lower Town, right? Doesn't matter where you live because you don't ever have to go anywhere. You might every, every now and then may have to make a stop into somebody's business only because they don't have the information you need. But this is a, this is a company and that's a company and that's a company and that's a company and that's a company. All right. All you need is a pallet company close enough so they don't have to charge. Well, as you can see, St. Minneapolis got tons of them. Pallet recycling, that's what's that, five miles maybe, three, two? I don't know. Pallet recycling, I make the deal with them. You make the deal with them. We put them two together. We all make money. It's just that simple. We are the progressive insurance of the insurance game. What does that mean? That means that insurance companies are fighting for your business. Progressive 
gets all those guys together and weeds out the ones that cost too much and gives you the one that costs the least. Right? That's what we do. That's what we do. That's who we are. So what do we want to achieve? My goal is to put everybody on this call making at least $10,000 a month by March. Now, I'm being very conservative in that assessment, but hear me when I tell you, $10,000 a month change anybody on this call's life. $500 a month can stop a lot of people from getting divorced. It's just the truth. Now, my job is to help you achieve whatever financial goal you want. That's my job. I'm going to do that. Behind you, behind me, as I, 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 that is, is my logo. It's the state of Minnesota license plate with ABS ink on it. Aggregate business surplus. Now, as you can see, that same logo is on my hat. Right? If you want swag, oh, I got one of these hats too. I got one of these too, right? And I have a couple of jackets with patches on. If you want swag, I can show you where you can go get it. But you don't really need it because you won't be going anywhere really. Every now and then you might. So it'd be nice if you had, you know, state of California from California, Chicago, state of Illinois, license plate with ABS ink on it, right? That'd be cool, but it's not necessary. It's not required, in other words. But it's always good to have your swag together, all right? Now, um, again, we were talking about my company, soon to be your company. It's my website, Aggregate Business Surplus. The, the name, company logo, quality palace in the Twin Cities and nationwide. Video. And get new recycled and custom whip palettes for your business so you can ship your parts on time every time. It's just a, it's a website, right? Request a quote. Somebody goes on the site, hit request a quote. Boom, comes up. They put their information in, help me save money. Call me, whatever they want to do. Now. That is the company website. It's the first one I built. I built it myself, right? Now, I don't particularly, it's okay. It's not great. But, you know, if you're a buyer, click here. If you're a supplier, click here. Where the location is, phone, services, right? Click on services, pallet services. We buy pallets, pallet removal and disposal, heat treated pallets for export. And that's just for pallets. When I build the site out for real, it's gonna have dunnage, 55 gallon drums, wire reels, everything, plastic containers, corrugated boxes, the whole nine yards, okay? Now, now, how do you fit in this scheme? It's easy, guys, it's easy. I'm gonna send you companies. I'm going to send you companies. As you saw from me sharing a screen, this is just the Twin Cities. And all these blue dots are businesses I've already sought out. And all of these are companies that are buying, right? So, what what does that mean to you? Well, he, he, here's how you fit in. Let's say it's Chicago, right? And you live in Chicago, Illinois. That's Chicago, right? It's a big city. Gary's just right down the street. I got some family members and stuff like that live in, um, uh, where do they live? Berwyn. You know, 
all this stuff. This is all, if you live in Chicago area, all of this is yours, every bit of it. Now, if I put, um, if I type in pallet suppliers in Chicago, boom. See all those companies? That's how you get paid. Now, for the sake of conversation, let's go to some of these businesses. All right. Here's a good one. What's this? Oh, that's my company. The company right there. That's who's paying me. These guys right here. And guess what, guys? They got a pallet company right up the street. That's who was buying, that's who was selling them pallets up until like a week ago. Now I'm selling them pallets. And the company that's servicing them is this company over here. Way further, but they're spending the money. They're buying the pallet. I'm buying the pallets from them, selling them to them. That's crazy. And the company right up the street, they just lost 4000 4, they, they lost way more than that because <laughs> they've had that they've had that client for 10 years but let's say let's go to um chicago i'm gonna type in leather tanning in chicago is there anything there oh here we go or what leather company, right? They're a leather company. You see that? My guys from Chicago, Quentin, Blue, free game. But you already sent me your non-compete, so. <laughs> free game, check it out. I click on this. I zoom in. And I hit satellite. All right, this is the company, that's their building, right? Zoom in some more. Now, let me 3D it. What's all that back there? It looks like drums. That looks like drums, doesn't it? Guess how much each one of those drums cost for somebody who needs them every month or every week? About 50 bucks a drum. These are the ones they throw out. All you gotta do is sell them to somebody who needs them. What if, this is all this business is guys. What if this company, Tag Prince Digital, needs drums and this company here is giving away drums? which is actually Horween leather because there's no name there. So this is all of this is Horween le leather. You get what I'm saying. You get the, you get the gist, all right? So my job, what do I do? My job is to provide you with the clients. You call them. It's just that simple, right? It's just that simple. We have a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that every company in the United States and the world saves money, especially now, right? Your job, what do you do? You call, you close, you get the emails, you get the information, you send that to me, I connect them with the, with the pallet yard, we negotiate the deal, you get paid. It's just as simple. How long can you do that? Long as you want, long as you want. Your requirements for right now, you have to learn the biz. That's my job. Once a week, we're gonna have a training, right? You gotta practice your pitch, it's really simple, right? You have to overcome the objections. You don't get many at all and never drop the ball. When you get a client, you stay on top of them. Don't let them get away. Cause if you let them get away, it's not gonna happen. It's, it's just, they're gone and you don't make any more money. Your requirement later, at least one deal a month. I need that from you. There'll never be a deal less than 500 pallets a month. Never. 
because I can't do business with people with small business like that unless we do it through um, salvage, all right? At least one a month. You have to adhere to company policies and procedures, which I haven't even put together yet. So right now you're good, <laughs> okay? And eventually you must purchase the full course because I don't want you to work with me forever. I want you to start your own and get your own people and have your own business like this, right? This is not an MLM, it's not network marketing, anything like that, but we're building a, a model, right? And we want you guys to push that model out into the world and it will never be saturated because most of the businesses in this world either need pallets or trying to get rid of pallets. It's just the way it is, all right? Now, going forward, we're gonna have weekly sales meetings. We're gonna have monthly progress reports. We're gonna have quarterly tax progress. That's where Michael Eisbrenner is gonna come in. He's gonna help you guys with your taxation and all that stuff. Biannual business strategies. Michael will help with that as well. An annual baller retreat. Once a year, we're gonna have a retreat where we go and we pop bottles. I don't drink, but we're gonna go to a, somewhere, Florida, Miami, might go to Hawaii. I don't know, may go to Columbia, <laughs> pop bottles, right? Because everybody will be paid, everybody will be set. And, and wherever we had that party, everybody's gonna write off all the expenses because that's how it's gonna work. So um, I'm gonna unmute everybody. We don't have a whole lot of time. Anybody got any questions, concerns, thoughts? I know we talked the other day, so you pretty much answered a lot of my questions already. And then mm -hmm. you even went uh, a little bit more in depth today with the Zoom call. So. Um, I'm pretty much good, you know what I'm saying? Um, right. Like I said, I've definitely been watching that video over and over again to get the script down packed as much as I can. I even wrote it down anyway, you know what I'm right. saying? So we just gotta get used to seeing it and, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying, do a couple trial runs. Absolutely, that's all it takes, because it's not, it's not that hard. You're working with solid air people. You're dealing with guys who just work in the warehouse and they wanna make money and they want and they want to save their business, <laughs> and save their company. If they work for the company, they wanna save their job. So they if they can save their company some money, that that's a touchdown all day. Anybody else got a, anything to say? Nah, you pretty much answered most of everything that um like Blue said. Um they're pretty much it's self-explanatory, man. Yep. Um we know what the business we in. And I like the fact, honestly, man, I I, I tip my hat to you though, because by you saying we're not working for you and you don't want us working under you forever and you want everybody to build their own brand and get money together and everybody expand that's dope bro so yeah, I, just tip I, mean, my head, I tip my head for that but there's i mean it's so much business it's everywhere it's everywhere you look right ej sent me a video yesterday or day before with a business that's got like five thousand pallets all over the place and that's not ones they're giving away those are the ones they need so we know that's they crazy. need three or four thousand of them a week Right? EJ is going to stop driving that truck by next month. <laughs> I'm telling you, if we work this deal, it's over. And everybody here can do that. There's nothing that we do that everybody on here can't do. All you have to be able to just, just have some, as uh, JT Hustle was saying, as John Wilker would say, some hustle muscle. That's it. Some hustle muscle. That's all you need. And everybody got that. If you, if you weren't a hustler, you wouldn't even be on here. So right. I'm going to I'm going to end this one right now. Tomorrow, um, I want um, Q and Blue to give me a call at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're going to do some role calling, role playing on Zoom. Anybody else want to be on the Zoom? Let me know because we're going to be on the Zoom tomorrow. We're going to do some role playing. If, if everybody, okay, cool. if, if you read, if you want to just listen in and kind of get a vibe of what's going on, you can do that tomorrow at 10 a.m. We're going to have another Zoom call, and um, you basically can just use the same link. Just click that same link. It should be able to just bring you right back here at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'll just open it up, and we'll get it cracking. So um, until then, guys, I appreciate it. Love you all, man. And we're going we, we're gonna to blow this thing up, I'm telling you. Get ready. So um, with that said, I'm out of here. Greg, thank, thank you, you sir. Very much. Thank, thank you. you, brother. Thank, thank you, you, Greg. Thank you, Thanks, all. Y'all be safe, man. Love you, man. Y'all be careful. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks, bro. Appreciate hey. it. Right. Yes, sir. Go Cubbies. <laughs>